I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Should you feel guilty about your bad church attendance during COVID-19? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what we're doing and passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, or donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. So, you're trying to be a good citizen. You're trying to lower the curve. You're trying to love your neighbor. But in, the, in doing so, you're missing church. Now, you're missing that you're missing church. And there might be a twinge of guilt that you can't make it to church. Your church may be closed, and your pastor may be offering communion, but you may be too afraid to go because of the COVID-19 stuff. Your church may be open, and you're still not able to go because of the COVID-19 stuff. How are you supposed to feel? Well, the deceitful answer would be to tell you, you have an excuse, an excused absence, you're going to be okay. That's what sinners need to hear, What want to hear. We want to hear that our actions are excusable because of the circumstances. It's how we argue with God and say, you know, everything's going to be all right. I have extenuating circumstances for whatever sin that I'm committing. But what about Jesus? You see, you have a savior who in impossible situations doesn't overlook sin. Instead, he forgives sin. This is very important. We are trying to figure out how to make it through this situation that is horrible. And we are tempted to comfort ourselves in order to make ourselves feel better with well, my church is closed. I can't go. Um, I need to love my neighbor, so I can't go. When in actuality, the thing to do when you can't go is to confess your sins to God and receive forgiveness. Is it an actual sin that I can't go to church? Well, rather than figure out whether it's a sin or not, rather than check your motives to determine whether or not your heart's in the right place or you're just skipping church because you're scared, um, or all the different things that are going on inside of you, just confess to God that the situation's awful and receive forgiveness. He is a God who saves. And he saves you even though you can't go to church with COVID-19. And he saves you even if your church is open and you can't go to church because of COVID-19. And he saves you even if you want to go to church and can't go to church. He saves you from you. So rather than looking inside yourself to determine whether or not you should feel guilty or not, or having a list of excuses that you can make, just confess your sins to God. This is an impossible situation, God, and I need your mercy and your grace to save me from it. I know that stream services aren't cutting it, but I can't go to church, or I won't go to church, or I am scared to go to church, or I'm scared to go out, period. When the church opens, okay. Now, I am not saying that church is not a necessity. It is a necessity. I'm a little put off that Wally World is open, pot shops are open, liquor stores are open, all the things that we might use to um, medicate ourselves through this. But churches aren't allowed to be open. But for now, I'm not going to have that discussion. Instead, I'm going to confess my sins to God. I can't go to church. I won't go to church. The situation's awful. And receive forgiveness. I might pick up the phone also and call my pastor up, set up a time to come to communion. If, he, if he'll let me, he might be a little bit, you know, sort of, Pushing back too, because he might think to himself, I don't want to infect you in case I've been exposed. And what's he going to do? He's going to confess his sins and receive forgiveness. So you're saying people can do whatever they want. 
No, I'm saying that this COVID-19 thing is an awful situation, which provides us nothing but sinful answers. And in that situation, um, it's time to confess my sins, pray to God for mercy, and live my life. So should churches be open now? Well, that depends on their area and their location, their government, and the like. Well, if they're closed, does that mean they're, that they love Caesar more than God? And if they're open, that means they're not. We have, to, we have to step back and remember who saves us. The one that saves us is none other than the Lord God himself who died on a cross on Good Friday and rose again on Easter morning. If he alone saves us, then we will get through this COVID-19 thing and we will find our way to the other side, to the wonderful land where we all get to come to church and sing hymns and most of all, hear the word, preach, read, sung, chanted, and have into our mouths put the body and blood of Jesus. In the meantime, we're all just trying to get by. Trying to get by in Corona land. So, the answer to the question is confess your sins and receive forgiveness. Well, is, it, is missing church during COVID-19 a sin? I'm not going there. Instead, I'm going to confess my sins, my inability to do what I'd like to do, and my only ability to do the things I hate, and move on. Think about it. Think about it. And if your church is open, don't give them for being open. I'm gonna have to edit that out. If your church is open, don't give them for being open. And if your church is closed, don't give them for being closed. Instead, try to love those around you, including your church, and forgive as you've been forgiven, mercy as you've been mercied, and love as you've been loved. Love covers a multitude of COVID-19 sins. His love for us on the cross. I'm Pastor George Borkart. The war's underneath the desk. It's raining and snowing. And he's, I'm sorry, it's raining and thundering, not snowing. It's raining and it's scary. We will be back next week with more Higher Things video shorts.